Hey everybody, good afternoon. How is everyone? It's late for me today. It's four o'clock, just about. And um, I've got a fun, I'm calling it not Thirsty Thursday. <laughs> it's not five o'clock yet, but I'm calling it Thrifty Thursday because I have a bunch of um, little doodads that I've made. I'm just waiting to get my link here for my text club people. Um, there we go. If you want to know when I go live, hang on one second and I'll give you that number. I just want to send this out. And to everyone. And there we go. So if you want to know when I go live, I put out a post I think I did it on Instagram, but my number is, I'll tell you in a second, I have to have like a big sign made and put it behind me with my number. But people want to know when I'm going to go live. I also will send a text, like yesterday I sent one out that I have the new Iron Orchid, my first shipment of the new Iron Orchid in and I'm getting another one any day. So um, this is a good way to stay on top of that. It's 860-385-6369. All right. So I have this birdhouse. Now, if you're part of the Painted Cottage Facebook group, you would have seen the um, workshop we did about that. And I had this leftover one. And this morning, I was in my Surface Anthology membership um, doing a tutorial and I had some leftover paint and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna, I can't, I, I have a really hard time throwing away like leftover paint and different things. So I created this kind of chippy milk paint finish with Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint and I had a coat of cracked gesso underneath it. So that's how I got this kind of nice rustic finish in and that the color that I chose is Mora by Miss Mustard Seed, and I love it. It's it's a light kind of complex green color, green gray, and I really really love this color. So I also have all these molds that I've made and that I've dried out, you know, doing tutorials and stuff. And I was looking at this, and I'm like, is there a way? that I can decorate this little house. Hey, Shannon. Shannon Shannon has signed up and she's like, thank you, Shannon. She says it's so nice getting the text so that way you know when I'm live and I'm doing something. Thanks so much, Shannon, and welcome. So I wanna use these molds on this little birdhouse because the houses that I made in uh, the painted cottage I had up on my mantle, but they were winter. The theme was winter wonderland, and I just, you know, I had to take them down finally. So now I wanna do a spring theme. Look at this frame for the back of the house. Very 3D, right? I love the white on this color. This always reminds me, these bare molds reminds me of Wedgwood. So I was playing around with this and I'm like, oh, well, that would be neat for the back of the house. I also made these little, these were from little ornaments that we were making as a project. And I'm just playing around. I'm like, God, this is really neat. So I think I'm going to start with this frame on the back. That way I'll be able to turn this over and then work on the front. And I'm not using a hot glue gun. I don't have good luck with them. I always feel like... I put the clue down, it stays, and then it, it pops off. So I'm using my fave, my um, tight bond, quick and thick. And like I always say, you can use Aileen's tacky glue, which is just as good and even thicker than this. I just love how easily this comes out of the bottle and it never gets plugged up. Okay, so there's that. So I put my glue out on a little palette. Let me move my molds over. And I'm going to attempt to glue this down. 
So I'm using, like I always do, just an old artist brush. It's stiff. It's a natural bristle brush. And I'm going to put a lot of glue right on the bottom where it meets this. I'm also going to put some right on this. I want a really, really good connection of the two surfaces. Now, of course, I didn't, I didn't, I could have made a little mark, you know, where the corners meet the house. I'm just going to guesstimate here. So I, anyway, I call this thrifty because I'm not throwing away all these little molds that I made or this birdhouse. All right. And I'm just going to put this down. And I can see already I need more right up at the points. I'm really going to blob it on. Now, I showed you guys yesterday, if you have glue coming off like that and you don't want to see it, just dip an artist brush or a small brush into some, there's my water, into some clean water and just wipe that away because it will, it will leave like a shiny spot. And if you're somebody who's, you know, into those details, just do that. It'll be gone. You won't have to worry about it. Okay. So I love how that looks. That's the back. But I want to put something in the middle now. And this is a little piece that I decoupaged. I don't know, some berries, some fruit with some leaves. I could do something like that. Here's a mold that I made. This is from the Cameos mold. And I can put that in there. Oh, I like that. That I love. And it's flowers. It's spring. I'm going to go with that. So same thing. Now these are dry. So it's, you know, there's they're not going to meet. They're, I'm not going to be able to mold them. Usually I glue my molds down wet. So I'm really going to put a lot of glue on the back of this. I'm not going to go all the way out to the edges because it'll kind of squeeze out. Okay, and I'm going to go kind of, I'm going to use my camera for this a little bit higher. And you can see I'm pressing down and I can feel it kind of just click in there. So I just think that's like super sweet white. Now, hopefully I really should get some painter's tape and tape this down, but I'm just gonna flip it over and hope for the best because I wanna do the front. So very gently. So here's the front. And I was playing around with these, and this is from the Laurel Mold, like that. And then I could put like a little flower up at the top, or A B like I did yesterday, like that. I definitely, look, here's one of my favorites is the bow. I'm definitely going to put that down there. So let me just get started and we'll see where we end up. I'm definitely going to use these. I love these. Same thing, I'm really being very, very generous with this glue. Right down the middle.
and same thing over here. And by the way, the way that I store these when they're out of season is I just take an old grocery bag, a plastic grocery bag, and put it over the birdhouses and then put them in my basement where I have all my holiday stuff. All right. I'm going to pull this down a little so it extends. That feels good. Same thing with this side. And this is definitely going to go up on my mantle because those little birdhouses just were, they just made all of us really happy. Even my grandson would look in. Okay. Same thing. All right, feels good. Now... How am I going to resolve? There's the big flower. I really like the bay. I think that's really sweet. So I'm really going to have to blob on. Let me close my computer here. Blob on the glue to get that bee right up there. But that looks so sweet. So I need more glue. All right. And I'm just going to really blob it on. and hope for the best. I don't know why I just do not have good luck with a um, hot glue gun. All right. Yep, I could feel it, it gripped it. So there's the top. How cute is that? Now I'm gonna deal down here with the body of the piece. I have another B. <sighs> Too bad I don't, you know, I could have made the little, they, they have these little tiny bird molds. That would have been cute. But this is Thrifty Thursday. <laughs> so I have to use what I have. And I don't know. Maybe some flowers. And you guys, when you're playing around with stuff, just play around with it. You might hate it, you might love it, but these molds are so great for that, to kind of move around, play with them, you know, what looks cute to you, what is like, like this to me is a, a little bit too much, but just play around, take stuff away. and, you know, play around with your composition. And that's too much for me. <laughs> I'm gonna, I have enough to do a couple of projects for sure. I also have these cute, oh, there's so many cute little molds. For jewelry makers, these molds are great too. But I think I just like, oops, the bow. And this is so much fun and it's really great when you're, um, you know, trying out new techniques, trying new things to mess around with your composition like this. It really develops your eye and it should be about what you like, you know, what makes you happy, right? There's my little coin guy right up at the top. I 
Look at this. This is so cute. It's like a little ancient coin. I love that. So I really like this. So I'm going to glue it. And then I still have a lot of stuff left for another project. All right, same thing. You've got to really, really be generous with the glue when you're um, using dried molds. And when your molds are dry like this, you can paint them, you know, before you put them on, you can put gold leaf, silver leaf on them, and then they'll just be ready to go. I want mine um, totally the white clay. I love the color. I love that it feels like dry, you know, the porcelain, the matte porcelain. Okay, same thing, press this down. And I'll put a little bit under my coin. He's so fabulous, he's so Roman. Something the bird that lives here collected. All right, so how cute is that? It's very Wedgwoody to me. Let's see if I could turn this. I don't know if that bee's gonna fall. But there's the back, you know, and it's 3D, I really love it. It's got the crusty um, milk paint. So, oops. So look at that. And then the front. And this will go right on my mantle. And I just, I think it's really cool. You can also, I'll very carefully stand this up. Put something on the roof if you have anything. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, I don't want, I like it just like this. So you guys, don't throw away your little test pieces of the Iron Orchid um, clay, the molds. And let me tell you, I am really impressed with the Type On Thick and Quick because this is holding together. But I love that. This almost, well it does, it looks like a shadow box, right, with that cameo in the center. So give it a shot, let me know if you do, share it. I love to see what you guys are working on. There you go, my little, oop, my bow moved. I'm gonna just leave this now um, and let it dry. I'm gonna let this dry overnight before I touch it. Shannon, thank you so much, isn't it cute? <laughs> What's cuter than a birdhouse, you know? I just, I absolutely love them and it's spring, I'm so excited. And I'm Shannon, where are you? Is it spring yet? Are you getting, you know, that smell outside, the buds? Um, oh, I'm starting to see stuff emerge from the ground and it's really, really exciting. Sue, hey there. Thank you. I think it's cute too. I'm I don't care. I told my husband I'm putting up a lot of feminine stuff this spring. You know, I like it, it makes me happy. Why not? And he says it's great. So there you go. But I hope Shannon and you, Sue, are getting signs of spring where you are and getting that really wonderful feeling. It's just, there's nothing like it. That's why I love living in um, New England because we get all four seasons. And as bad as winter can get, it's so nice because you get spring. Oh, hey, Barb, how are you? Barb, you're actually live. <laughs> Oh, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Go play with your molds. Um, by the way, you can get these little birdhouses. I think I got this at Michael's or Joanne. I think Michael's or Joanne. And it's, oh my God, it, Shannon, you're in Washington. I bet it is. I bet it is. Isn't it exciting? It's like every year you get this great feeling. I remember the first time I drove a car, you get that excited feeling, that feeling of independence, and I don't know why. Maybe I, I got my license in the spring, but every spring I just get that feeling like, oh, anything's possible, it's just wonderful. 
You guys, thank you for joining me. I'm so excited to uh, to be here. Didn't know it was live, Barb. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I'm on there and I'm talking to one of um, the other decorative painters from the paint. You know, I we join each other's lives. And sometimes I'm not sure if it's live. I'm like, are they live? Who am I talking to? <laughs> oh, but boy, you guys, thank you so much. Thanks again for joining me. Go do some spring stuff and enjoy yourselves. Happy painting. Any questions, ask below and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hobby Lobby. Wait a minute. Barb just said, quick. Hobby Lobby had them on sale. So, see, I don't have a Hobby Lobby near me. So, check out Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joanne. And these are like real, they're really well made. And they're so cute. You could put them, you know, on your mantle, a centerpiece, whatever. They're so much fun. Barb, thanks for sharing that. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.